What the hell is going on here? I just, I don't want to know. I just don't want to know anymore. Good morning. I'm on my way to work and after work we are getting the tire fixed and I was actually thinking how often I had a flat tire in Europe, but I only can remember one time and even my parents maybe once when we went on vacation to France or something. I can't really remember any time where we changed flat tires and someone asked me in my video on the Neon Real where I show how to change or how I changed my tire if it's normal that you kind of have to learn how to change a tire in Germany and to be honest I don't know if it's mandatory I'm pretty sure it is and they actually showed us so but we never did one but they showed us so I think they have to show us but that's about it if you're getting a travel license in Europe, or let's talk about Germany, I'm not sure how it is in every other European country, but in Germany, one, you have to take a couple of um, lessons, which is super expensive. There's a minimum of, I think, 40 lessons? I'm not sure. You have to drive on the highway. You have to drive overnight. It's called overnight. It's just during nighttime. Let's see, you have to have your eyes checked and you have to do something like a first aid course. Basically, you have to learn how to, to help other people or yourself when you're in an accident. So many questions and I think probably stuff like knowing how to change your tire, setting up your, um, what do you call that? Oh my God. You know, the um, triangle thing which you put, do you have that in America? Do I have that in my car here? I have to check, but I'm pretty sure it's in here. In, in Germany, actually, it's mandatory and you have to have like a uh, first aid kit, have to have. And if it's expired, you actually can get into trouble and have to pay a lot of money. So, yeah, there's so many rules in Germany. I mean, they do make sense. Sometimes it would be cool if it would be a bit less. But I assume that's why, actually, if you're from Germany at least and come to America, you actually just swap. You can get an American travel license without even taking tests because our tests are just crazy and we have so much experience before we actually um, get our travel license. And we are, oh, when I made my travel license, you had to be 18. I think you are 16 here when you're allowed to make it. Shh, we're filming here. So I'm one step further with unpacking. The suitcase actually fell over last night. So that's sort of something. Or something. I love that meme. That meme is hilarious. It pretty much just sums up the entire feeling of uh, it's something. It's time to fix the tire. And it's weekend. Weekend. Yesterday I was actually looking up discount tires or discount tires discount tire not sure anyhow they're basically over there and that's where i thought they are but then i saw tire discounters and i was like oh that's probably what i looked up so i went there now i'm not sure which one is cheaper but i mean they both have discount or discounter in their names so i'm wondering is one actually more expensive than the other I was so hungry, so I thought, hey, why not get food while I'm waiting, so I don't have to wait over there. Yesterday there were about four women in there, the, no one else, four women waiting for tires. It was so awkward, just imagine, normally there are guys in there, it's a tire shop, seriously. And today, um, he recognized me, so obviously, <laughs> I was like, it's me, I was like, I know, I'm having a little cherry. It's pretty spicy, which is awesome different to what I had last time but tastes okay and I like my fortune cookie when it's dark enough you can see stars I shall do that tonight look for stars this is where I am after three or four months like that I can do all well. <laughs> <laughs> though I can't leave those guys alone they're already destroying keyboards and stuff so in the last few years I've been building the uh, Monster, yeah, Monster Stars. Yeah, of course, this year, as soon as I show my face, I have to do the same thing. It's one of the most fun things to do. Though. And here we are, Goodwill. The guys in the shop there, I mean, I really appreciate it when people are like, hey, your English is really good. And I'm like, oh, I bought.
bought so much stuff. If you're going here at least to Goodwill on Fridays, they have so much stuff in there. And stuff we actually needed in the house. So that was pretty awesome. And I just saw this. And German people, at least the older ones, do you know what I'm thinking? Or even that, that's that's even more. Kaufladen. Does anyone know that word? I can describe it to you, but I don't know the English word. Basically, it's uh, like a little sh shop for kids where they can play. Um, it's not supermarket. It's it's smaller. It's like a small shop where you can basically get fruits and basically everything. Look, it's a gas monkey. I know why they call it Happy Easter. It's always fun to hang out with the guys from the front and sell them. It's too bad that I'm no longer playing, but I just really, I really cannot play anymore with the ball. <sighs> I do miss it. The thing is, it's too, I couldn't really film there because there's too much noise and they're actually doing their new music now. They're playing a song from Adele. I know, I'm not a big fan either sometimes, but they're playing the uh, Skyfall song. And it's pretty cool so far, even though it's really early in the uh, season. I like it. Is there any instrument that you can play except for the flute? Ha ha ha, very funny guys. But seriously, is there any instrument that you can play? I'm actually curious how much time is going on into the creative nation that you guys are. And one of the first things I need to do when I come home, get rid of my pants. I don't like this. There's the same car as mine, similar number plate, and I tried to open it. And guess what? Mine is over there. <laughs> that is hilarious. And the funniest part is, in my brain I was like, I drove through. Why am I standing on the other side now? And my brain couldn't handle it because it was my car and almost the same number plate. I, I don't know my number plate, so, but it starts similar. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Do you know those moments when you are like, oh my God, hysterical, hilarious. And it's your own joke and probably nobody else won't gets it or to find it funny. I find it funny. So I think I showed you this earlier. I'm not sure if we put it in the vlogs, but this is it. Basically Darth Vader with bunny ears. And I wrote, hello, sweetie. Can you see that? I'm your M funny. Get it? Father plus bunny funny. So I posted those because they are so super trippy. And you can see that's my username, Dilium Real. Follow me there. Oh yeah, we held, uh, we had some fun earlier with my jacket. So we held it hostage. Did I film that? I don't think so. And the last one, I think I showed you this one. That's the gas monkey. And I posted it to gas monkey garage. Well, my lovely friends, it is the end of the day. Well, for me it is. I have had a pretty awesome night. It was fun to hang out with the guys again from you all. I will close my eyes. I will see you guys tomorrow. And I wish you guys an awesome day. Good night, guys. I need to get up early. So we're going to bed now. Sleep well. Good morning, Yura. I'll see you later. Bye.